Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm so excited because this is Addie's Easter Basket haul. And I'm going to show you all all the things I got to put in her Easter basket. I'm also going to use this opportunity to go ahead and put everything in her Easter basket. So I've been just collecting different things from different places, mostly Amazon, but then a few other places. And I've been keeping it all in a box in our guest room. And so today, I'm going to officially get everything back out and arrange it in our Easter basket and show it to y'all. Um, so, let's get started. First off, I want to show y'all her basket. So, I got this basket last year. Last year was actually her first Easter. She was only, I guess, three or three and a half months. And so, I ordered this basket on Etsy. It is kind of big. But I wanted it to be able to grow with her. Um, I will link the shop down below. But I wanted to show so it has like the ties where the liner can come off and it can be machine washed if it were to get dirty, which I love anything that can be just thrown in the washing machine. Um, and then I got her little name on here and I loved the shop. It was so easy to work with and the shop owner was so nice. Um, it looked like the basket wasn't going to be here in time for Easter, and she even upgraded our shipping to get it here faster at her cost. She was wonderful, and so I will definitely be linking her shop below. So, that's her basket, and I got to customize it, which I love. Um, let me see. So... Let me start with Easter grass. Can I just say I absolutely hate Easter grass. I feel like it is a necessary evil for Easter. Um, if anyone has any creative things other than Easter grass to put down in the bottom of the basket, please comment and let me know because so far, this is all I can come up with. And I feel like you have to put something in the bottom of the basket. I guess you could maybe not. But, it's, and you spend like two fifty a bag for Easter grass, all for it to just get thrown away. So, that's my rant on Easter grass. So, I'm going to put this down in the bottom. I got pink because I love pink, especially to go with her basket. It's nice and girly. And it's so Easter and spring looking. Oh, literally can't. You know, three bags might be enough. Let me just do three. Okay, so we've got our Easter dress. Now, let's see what else we've got in here. So. huge fan of books so Addie's Easter basket is gonna have a ton of books um, I got this one from Lifeway so it's called How High is Hope and it's actually a board book which is perfect because she's a little bit hard on books and we still need our board book this is a really really sweet book it's like a little bird and he's or no what is this an owl well that's a bird anyway it's a little owl and he's like talking to his dad and asking him how high is hope and the dad is telling them it's lighter than a butterfly and can't be stopped, can't be seen. Anyway, it's a really sweet book. So that's the book I got her. Then I got this book. So this is um well, it's called Love, but it's by Sally Lloyd-Jones. And she actually wrote a book that I got Addie for Easter last year that's called Found. And it's just like a simplified version of the 23rd Psalm. And then this is the simplified version of the Lord's Prayer. And I absolutely love these books, mainly because I think the pictures are so good. But it's just the... Um, 
like a kid's version of the Lord's Prayer. So sweet. And it's a board book also, so that's perfect. So I'll put that in there. I may have to rearrange this once I get going. Um, so, I want to do my Amazon stuff last. Well, yeah. So I got this little bubble machine at Walmart. I just saw it on the Easter aisle with all the little basket stuffers. It was only a few dollars, but Addie absolutely loves bubbles right now and she can't blow them herself. And so I think this would be perfect to have just a little bubble machine. Um, and I thought the colors were cute. So uh, it does say that it needs AA three, three AA batteries that are not included. So I'll have to get Andrew to take care of that. I'm sure he has some batteries laying around. There's that. Okay, so I found this little bunny at Hobby Lobby today. And I honestly, like this thing could break the first day that we have it. It was super cheap. But let me just show y'all. I thought it was so cute. I don't know if it'll do it. Let me see. It like hops. So anyway, Addie, actually I tried it out. Addie was with me and she was laughing and laughing and she thought it was the funniest thing. So uh, that's a cute little thing to put in her basket. Um, okay, so I got bunny grams. Addie is not a big eater of very much of anything. She doesn't really even like fun stuff like ice cream or cake. So... I didn't get her any candy. She looks like kind of young for candy. There's not very many things she could reasonably chew. But um, I thought I would fill up. I got these little, um, they're egg, I mean, carrot shaped eggs. I got them, they were three to a package at Hobby Lobby and they were um, $2.99. And so I was going to just fill these up with some bunny grams. And for all of y'all that are cringing that I'm about to put these bunny grams in here, without cleaning the inside of these eggs. Sorry. Sorry, Mom. Just, let's just, if it makes y'all feel better, I'll say that the ones in the eggs are just for show and I'll feed her the ones in the box. Does that make y'all feel better? <laughs> My hands are clean though. Although I've been opening all those packages, so listen. Look how cute that is. I love it. Okay, so I fill up all three of these and just have these down in her basket. She's honestly never tried these, but I saw these on um, somebody else's Easter basket haul that they were getting these bunnies, and I thought that was a great idea because she can definitely have. Or she can definitely eat um, graham crackers. So this was perfect candy substitute. And they're Annie, so they're organic. Even better. Uh, last one. Spoon set, it's Munchkin. I got it at Target. I think it was like $3.99 or something. We don't have her fork and spoon yet that she can practice with or hold, and so I thought that was perfect because it's a bigger handle and it has the um, ledge on it that's supposed to keep them from like sticking the whole thing in their mouth, which she certainly does with her little skinny spoon that we feed her with. So I'm excited for her to try this. All right, let's go ahead and get to the Amazon stuff. So all of this stuff is from Amazon. Um, always like to put some kind of stuffed animal in her basket, mostly because that's always what my parents did. I pretty much got a little stuffed bunny or chick every year. So this little thing, it is 
I almost called it a lamb. It's not a lamb. It's a bunny. But it's a little bunny. And it's also got this really flat body. So it's like a little lovey. It's like half stuffed animal, half blanket. And right now she's absolutely loves anything that's cloth. Like she likes to take um, shirts off of the couch that I've been folding and walk around and hold them next to her face. So I thought this was perfect because it's a really good size and she can hold it next to her face and I think that she's absolutely going to love that. So um, I think it was only like, it was $10 or less, $10 or $12 on Amazon. It's Mary Meyer is the brand. Um, so she's going to love that. Again, I'm going to have to rearrange this in a cuter way. Okay. More books. So this is God Gave Us Easter. We have um, the first, I think it's the first one of these series, but who knows. Um, the God Gave Us You book. And it's really, really sweet. And so this is the Easter version. And it's the, the polar bear family that are um, talking. And the dad is explaining Easter and like, um, the true meaning of Easter, and I just, I really, really liked it, I thought it was really sweet, the pictures are, the pictures are important to me, so I liked the pictures, um, I got this on Amazon, and it was less than you can get it for in the store, I got, a lot of the stuff I got, a lot of the books I got from Amazon were cheaper on Amazon than I could have bought them for somewhere else. I got this book on Amazon, I Love You Funny Bunny, so I saw this on the list of top Easter books for this year, and it's a board book just like the other two that I showed you earlier, and it is so cute, it's like, um, let's see, so it's like a parent that's talking to his child and saying, I love you funny bunny, and naming all these like unique characteristics about the bunny, like your sense of style and when you sing your favorite song and it's just really really cute so if you do not have this book for your child you should get it because it's absolutely adorable the last two things in Addie's basket I just want to show you real quick um, I thought I showed you and then apparently the video wasn't on so listen I told y'all I'm a rookie so we have this Melissa and Doug puzzle I got this on Amazon um, it was like, I don't know, $10 or less. Um, this is our first Melissa and Doug item. So I'm really excited because I know it's a popular brand right now for kids. Um, and this is also actually our first puzzle. So I am so excited to see her play with this. I think that this is going to be the perfect size. The little knobs are going to be perfect for her hands. Um, and I think she's really going to love playing with this. So that is that. And then the last item I wanted to show you, I also got this on Amazon. Um, I don't want to open it and mess up the packaging, but I'll just kind of explain it. So um, this was actually, when I was browsing, showed up as a, um, I guess, popular item for kids this age for Easter baskets. And it says 18 months plus, which actually she's, I guess, 14 months. So she'll be able to play with it, even if she doesn't fully understand yet. Um, but it's basically a carton of um, eggs. And they actually match together. When you take them apart, you can put them back together based on their shape. So the same shape egg goes like the same half goes with the other half that matches the shape. Um, right now she has just regular plastic Easter eggs that she plays with. And she um, gets really frustrated when she gets them open pretty easily and then can't get them back together. Because she has trouble fitting the rim up exactly to be able to click it together. And so I think she's going to be really excited when she finds that she has a lot more success with these. Because um, it's going to be a lot easier for her to push them together. Um, and it will teach her about her shapes and her colors. So that's just an added bonus. Let's see. Now I just want to talk to you a little bit about some of the Easter traditions that we're going to be continuing as a family. Um, ones that I've been doing since I was younger. And then also um, a new tradition that we're going to be starting for us. Um, so first off, as far as traditions that um, we're going to continue to do, every year my family dyes eggs. I know, shocker, pretty sure no one else in the world does this for Easter, but um, 
we've been doing this since I was really, really little. Me and my sisters and my brother um, would join in until he was a little bit older. Um, but anyway, so we um, would normally do it the weekend of Easter, so either on Good Friday or on Saturday, whenever we had time to um, sit down and work on it together. And we pretty much would just get the classic cheap um, die kits from Walmart. They're like a dollar, two dollars. We tried like some fancy things in the past with, I don't know, like shaving cream and food coloring and all those different things and it ends up just being a ton of extra mess to clean up and so um, we're content with just using the normal classic die kits and it's just a super fun memory and um, still even now that I'm married I'll continue to go over there and we all get together um, at least sometime on Easter weekend to dye eggs together so um, another tradition that we do that I've done with my family in the past growing up um, I guess we started this when I was in high school but we'll do resurrection rolls so I'll try to find a, like a link to the recipe and pin it down below but um, basically it is um, a sweet treat that you can eat that also kind of tells the story of Easter so the premise is basically like so you have a crescent roll and then you have a marshmallow and it's like a jumbo marshmallow it's supposed to represent jesus and you roll the marshmallow in butter and in cinnamon and sugar and that's supposed to represent um like the oil and spices they put on his body preparing him for burial then you wrap the marshmallow in the crescent roll that's supposed to represent the cloth that they wrapped jesus in after he died and then you put the crescent rolls in the oven when the oven's supposed to represent the tomb. So it gets a little confusing here with the theology. So just don't get too deep into it, guys, or you'll just confuse yourselves. But when you take the rolls out, obviously the marshmallow is melted. So the tomb is empty, which that's when the roll that was the cloth then becomes the empty tomb. And I'm pretty sure no one else knows or cares about that except for me. So, um, it's delicious. And then also, it keeps the story of Easter and the reason that we're celebrating in the forefront of your mind. So, we get together as a family and we do this and it's a fun time. But also, it's a physical reminder that going through those different steps reminds us of what we're truly celebrating and um, the whole the story of Easter. So... Um, we will do that at some point. We normally do it the same day we dye eggs. It's just like a nice little treat, something to eat after we're done dyeing eggs. Um, so one tradition that we're going to be starting that's new for our family, me, Andrew, and Addie, um, is something that actually I did when I was really little, like elementary, middle school, and then kind of phased out of it as we got older. But it's resurrection eggs. So I got this on Amazon, um, but this is a new set of resurrection eggs. And actually, we should have started this on Wednesday, but we'll be starting it tonight. Um, and let me just show you all guys. So, what this is, so basically what it is, is your child will open one egg every day for the 12 days leading up to Easter. So like I said, we should have started it Wednesday, but we'll just have to double up on some days. Um, but they'll open an egg, um, and it'll have a item in it like this one has a spear um, and then there's a manual that comes with the resurrection eggs and it has a page for um, wait on the English side okay it has a page for each of the eggs so you open it it's a spear and then you read the page about what that item is and how it relates to the Easter story um, and they are in a certain order, like it has the order on here, so it's like blue egg, pink egg, anyway, you just go in the order that it tells you to. Um, another thing that I actually got, also on Amazon, that goes along with the Resurrection Eggs is this book. So, um, my family did this book with the Resurrection Eggs instead of the manual most years, and that's probably what we will do. So it's called Benjamin's Box, and it was written separately but in conjunction with the Resurrection X. And it's basically a fictional story, but um, each page goes through part of the story. So with each egg you open, you read a page of the story. 
Um, and it's about this little boy, Benjamin, and his treasure box. And his treasure box is full of all of these items. So it's, it's as if, it's written as if he was a witness to the Christmas story, not Christmas. Easter story and picked up all of these items along the way and kept them in his box and so I personally as a child really enjoyed this story and enjoyed this book it's a lot more relatable as a child to have a storybook about a child um, that was there at the Easter story and it was really cool to as a child to imagine that to imagine what it would have been like as a kid to be there you know to get to see Jesus and get to see the different events that unfolded um, during Easter week and so I'm really um, excited about this book because I really have a lot of fond memories attached to reading it or to my mom reading it to us. So I know that Addie is still a little young to fully understand this or be able to get the meaning of it all, but she'll be able to open the eggs and pull out the object. She won't understand what the object is or even what it means or what she's if she's supposed to eat it or throw it on the ground and she won't understand the story but it's just going ahead and getting in the habit of implementing this tradition around Easter I think that it's important for us to go ahead and get in the habit because it's just as much for our benefit as parents as it is for her if we don't go ahead and carve out that time now during such a busy holiday it's going to be really hard for us to implement it as she gets older um, so even though she's not really gonna fully understand it now we're gonna go ahead and start doing it just so we can get in the habit of creating this time and um, making sure that we make it a priority during the Easter season um, for us we growing up we always had Easter baskets um, but the most exciting thing for me wasn't getting up and seeing my Easter basket on Easter morning. I was excited about getting up and going to church. And even now, like, that's the thing that I get most excited about is on Sunday morning, getting up and going to church and worshiping with uh, my church family and getting to celebrate Jesus' um, resurrection. It's just an absolutely um, beautiful holiday. And it's the key element of our Christian faith. You know, the Christmas story is one element but the easter story we wouldn't be able um to have the relationship that we have with jesus now and to have the opportunity to go to heaven if it weren't for easter and so to me easter is not more important than christmas but in a lot of ways more exciting for me than christmas and so i look forward so much to waking up on easter morning and going to church to celebrate that and a lot of that is attributed to um the way i was raised and the way my parents celebrated easter and so yes like we always got baskets um and we will continue to do a basket for Addie every year but i still want the priority and the forefront and the focus of our celebration to be on the Easter story and the reason that we're celebrating and so that's why traditions like this are so important to me to make sure that we keep this as a priority and keep it in the front of her mind that it's not just about waking up and getting presents or putting on a pretty dress and those things are great and there's nothing wrong with them but I think that it's important to instill it in her from a young age the true meaning that we're celebrating um, and what Easter is really all about. That's my Easter basket haul. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this or if you have requests for other types of videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and share this video and make sure you turn on your notifications um, if you want to continue to see more videos from me. So thanks for watching.